welcome to the vlog where we visit some little free libraries, unhaul some books, and talk about what I'm reading at the moment. Welcome to the Library Mouse. This is Gina and Dusty. We are up here with Magic Happens. This is my little art studio video creation office. You name it. This is like my little dabbling room where I dabble in a little bit of everything. This week I thought that I would take you along. I have no idea what I'm doing this week. Um, we'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> um, so I'm getting ready for work. So that's why I came up here and thought I would share. I have a lot of art. This is where I just, all my stuff that I dabble in. And so I've got artwork, I've got some vintage furniture. Um, I love miniatures, so I'm building a dollhouse. I have my vision board. I collect old ornithology prints like here and here. Um, you can see over here, I have some of my artwork where I work, my workout schedule. Yes, and I feel like every time I come up here, I have a cat or two or three. Um, in the winter, I like to sit up here and read. So yeah, so who knows what we'll do this time around, but come along with me as I go through the week and we'll see what in for work. I wanted to share what I'm currently reading. It is Mrs. Everything by Jennifer Weiner. This is a very, very good book. It's the kind of book that I am carrying with me everywhere I go because I just can't stop reading it. And it started out a little bit slow, but it picked up pretty quick. And it really touches on everything that touches women. It starts in the 50s. Right now it's going through the 80s talking about... Vietnam, relationships with your mother, relationships with your sister, uh, communes, um, women's rights, feminism, trauma that women endure, um, lesbianism. I, it touches on everything and it is very, very, very good. It, it really makes you think about um, the expectations that society has for women compared to men. And yeah, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this book. I'll do a full wrap up when I'm done at the end of August, but this is currently my, I can't put it down, so I carry it with me. Okay, well, I'm done with work. Excuse my wetness. I had to get something off of that, <laughs> but I'm just going on a walk with the dog. So it doesn't really matter what I look like, right? Um, we are going up to the park and we're meeting another friend there and it's been a while since um, we've done dog walking. Um, between the heat and the rain and the heat and the rain, it's been crazy, but I have Hattie with me. Let me see if I can find her. There she is. She's all ready to go. And I see parents come in, you know, the front door, you know, the kids are All right, well, I'm back from my dog walk and I was attempting to videotape while I was there and it came out slow motion. So I don't even know, look at me. I don't even know what I pressed. Um, yeah, I do know. I pushed video record, but I had swiped over to slow-mo. So I won't put you through that torture. Um, I did wanna say though, I wanted to share this. So when I take Hattie out walking, I bought this cute little doggy water bottle for her. It was like my only Timu order when Timu was like first coming out and then everyone was like, oh, Timu. So I had to order something and I saw this on here, but it's the nicest little, you just put her water in that. And then this is this little button. And when you push it, I have no water in it really. Uh, water comes out that hole into this little bowl. It's so nice. Um, it's lightweight. I don't carry it on the walk because usually our walks aren't that long, but I just keep it in the car. So when she gets back, she has a drink, but 
yeah so after our walk we did about two and a quarter miles two and a half miles i came home and i decided i was just going to relax so i sat on the deck and i finished mrs everything excellent book the ending was good i can't say that you know sometimes you read a book and you love it and you get to the end you're like oh that was the end but this book came full circle. Uh, the ending was good. The ending was hopeful. Yeah, I liked it. I would recommend it. Uh, so now my next book that I have from the library is Pride and Prejudice. I have to say I'm really, really trying. I'm finding it very difficult to engage in that book. Like it's not a book that I'm thinking about. It's not a book that I think, wow, I can't wait to sit down and read that book tonight. I I feel like it's kind of an obligation read or an expectation read and really one that I put on myself. But I'm sorry, are you Jane Austen fans? I am going to attempt again tonight. But if I'm still finding that I'm plotting my way through it, I'm just going to DNF it. I There's so many other books that I, I feel no, I don't feel anything about not finishing a book, ever. Um, life is too short. I'm not going to wade through a book that I really don't care about just to say I finished it. So it might be on that list, but I don't know. I'm gonna try it tonight and see. But um, yes, so that's what's going on and we'll see what I can get into later. Okay, so I am going to be heading out today to, uh, well, I have some errands to run, but the place where I'm going, I looked up and there are a couple little free libraries, I think, that I can get to today. So I'm going to just share. I am unhauling The Secret. So if you watched my uh, last tag video, um, there was a prompt that said a book that would be TBR forever and I picked this one so I'm like why why is it on my shelf so I am going to take this one and unhaul it and then I also have the true and outstanding um, adventures of the hunt sisters by Elizabeth Robinson I think I read this a long time ago but I don't remember anything about it so I'm going to unhaul it and I'm going to leave it at one of the libraries. So you can come along with me and hopefully I do a better job of videotaping the libraries than I have done in the past.
it's on a very busy street, but let's go see what we've got. That was a bust. Um, could not find that little free library. So, not a good day for getting books, but at least I got rid of one. And um, I think I'm gonna check out this one. I've been to it before. Generally, it gets no use, so there's never any new books. And I don't know why, because it's kind of at a trailhead, but I think people just don't come thinking there's going to be a free library there. And it's in a random place in the country. So I'm still going to try it tomorrow and take you along, show you what it looks like. I love seeing how clever some people can be with little free libraries. And I was just wondering, have any of you who've watched, do you have a little free library? Like, have you made one? Um, I don't think where I live, I would really get anybody using it, but... They're so cute, and I think it would be fun to keep one stocked. So I decided to come outside, and since I finished Mrs. Everything, I thought that I would start The Reader by Bernard Schlink. Um, I was told that it is also a movie, but I'm going to read the book first. Um, I'm also reading... All of a Kind Family, which is my foray into my childhood reading experience. And I will talk about that later in the video, but we're gonna see what this book is like. Okay, so before I start work today, um, I'm starting to read this book. It is The Reader by Bernard Schlink. You saw me reading it last night out on my uh, pool deck and um, first impressions. So I am on page 43, chapter 9, and I'm not sure. I, I don't love it. The, to be perfectly honest, it's very rare that I pick up a book written by a man and enjoy it. That sounds horrible and sexist, but I just find most of the time their writing style doesn't appeal to me. Um, his writing style is very um, easy to read, very sentence, sentences are very basic. That's not to say what he's saying is very basic, but the style of writing is short, sweet, and to the point, it makes quick reading. It's not flowery. There's not a lot of extra words. Um, there was a quote, oh my gosh. When I was a teenager, I went away to the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Arts. I was one of 2,000 um, teenagers. We were had to be juniors. Um, going into our junior year, I believe, and across Pennsylvania, and they took, I think, 200 of us, and I went in the category of writing, and we had teachers who, when they would be critiquing our writing, and they would tell us to throw our, throw away our lovelies, meaning take those flowery sentences that, you know, we worked so hard to like make so pretty and they're like, yeah, just get rid of them. Just, just throw them out and start with some basic writing. And whenever they would critique our writing, I remember them just like redlining, like take this out, <laughs> take this out, um, throw away your lovelies. So he, he, he threw away his lovelies. 
And um, I don't know. The character I'm not loving yet. And I, that's a huge thing for me. I really like to have a connection when I first start reading a book. And we'll see. I'm not hating it. Also, I am reading one of my goals this this month was to read a book from my childhood that I remember adoring. And it has been very fun. I am reading All the Kind Family by Sydney Taylor. She has a whole series of books about this Jewish family of little girls who grow up on, um, the, I believe, the Lower East Side of New York City in the turn of the century, 1900. And I loved the series as a child. So did my sister. We read and reread and reread them. And this is the first book of the series. And as I'm reading it, just so much nostalgia comes flooding back. Like, I remember these illustrations. I remember what happens. Just things that you don't really think about on, you know, like that you would remember. I am remembering and it's so much fun. I can... You know, I can picture, you know, eight-year-old me sitting there reading this book. So that has been very fun. And I recommend it to everybody. Go pick out some books that you loved as a child and reread them. I think especially like chapter books because um, it's easy to pick up and read a, a picture book. But chapter books, you're just that bit of an older child. And it's just cool to like reconnect with the person that you were when you were reading that book. So anyway, I am off to go to work. Okay, came outside for a little bit and I was thinking about uh, YouTube and some ideas that I had uh, moving forward with my channel and just some um maybe some series that I thought that I would do I still really do enjoy doing my vlogs a lot just because it lends itself to a little more creativity um it gets me out searching for bookstores and little free libraries and making me kind of get used to filming outside of my house which I like I mean, the whole point of my doing a channel was to kind of grow, not to be so self-conscious, to have some creativity, to be part of a community and meet people and <clears throat> who enjoy books and reading as much as I do. Um, so I would definitely, I like doing vlogs and tags and what I've read, wrap ups and book reviews. But I also, there's a part of me, uh, especially like right about now, that misses the thing that I loved doing the most when I was teaching and that was teaching reading. And although I do not miss the job of teaching. I do miss the creativity. I miss getting kids into books. Um, so I thought that I might start a series that could incorporate that, mostly for teachers and parents. So it would definitely be a, probably a different audience than what I have, but uh, just kind of focusing on a topic in talking about the new books that are out there and some oldies that go with the topic and maybe even presenting with a project even that they could do at the end of the reading. I don't know, just some things that I'm toying and thinking about in my head. Um, but yeah, that was, that was on my mind this morning because I was thinking of what I could do to improve my channel or just make it more interesting um, or even just for me to enjoy making videos. So anyway, 
It's a beautiful day. I was outside working and I was toying with the idea of going to the library today, but I think I'm going to go to that little free library I had talked about before and see what books they have and at least drop off one of my books. So let's go. anything. Definitely needs a little uh, love on this one. But it's a pretty area as you can see. There's like not much here. I think on that note I'm going to close out this vlog but I had to share before I left. Isn't this the cutest shirt? It says Shh, I'm reading and I got it from the the Little Bookstore. It's in Clayton, New York, which is in the Thousand Islands, but shout out to her little bookstore. It's so cute. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, too bad that our little free libraries were a bus, but at least we got to go to a couple. Um, and I will be seeing you on the next video. Happy reading.